Hey, what's up everyone? Today on the Skyblock from Scratch profile, instead of doing dungeons, I've decided to just do some stuff around the island. More specifically, I want to focus on minions and getting collections, such as the gold collection, so that I don't have to make that joke about having to upgrade my bank. Now, minions require a lot of money, and I have a lot of money, but you saw the title, obviously that's not what's happening right now. Uh, I have a little bit there, a little bit there, um, so you guys know the drill. Alright, so that made us 22 million coins. That's a lot of coins. I say this at the start of every episode. Another update, every day I've actually been logging on to this profile and my main profile and playing the experimentation table experiments, and I've gotten to enchanting 44, uh, almost 45, which means I've leveled up, I think, 20 times. So, you know, that's, that's fair. This thing is so overpowered, Jesus. In addition to getting a stupid amount of XP, you also get some actually pretty decent enchants. Uh, so, for example, Protection 6, 1.35 mil. Siphon 4, 880k. Power 6, 880k as well. Giant Killer 6, that went down in price quite a bit, but, you know, still 900,000 coins is pretty decent. And the final book in my auction house, uh, it has a pretty decent story. Just a fair warning, this clip that you're going to see, there's, there's no commentary, uh, because I just, I record things without a microphone on, just so that you don't hear background noise. And also because sometimes random things happen, uh, su such as this. So here, here's that clip. So right here, I'm just playing my normal games, you know, nothing's really happening. And then I get an instant power up one click and it gives you the item instantly. So then I just immediately go over to the middle square because, you know, I, I like the middle square and I just, I click on it and then I see looting five. And my first thought is, wait, there's a looting five in this game. And then my second thought is, oh, maybe looting five is a rare drop because, you know, looting four comes from gifts and that's relatively rare. Anyways, after I finish that round of matching, because I mean, come on, you, you can't not finish the matching game. I check the price of looting five and uh, my, my suspicions were correct. It's... It's it's a fairly rare book, um. What? Easy sixty mil. So now, including everything we have in my purse, I have a hundred and twenty-four million coins, and that's after I spent just under ten million coins on minion materials. So yeah, as I mentioned, I spent just under ten million coins on minion materials, and um inside of all five of these chests, I know there's eight, I didn't use all of them, okay, I thought I was gonna have more minion materials. But inside of these five chests there are enough minion materials to make one hundred unique minions, which means that we can actually unlock two more minion slots, which is gonna be pretty good. I never thought I would have to do this again and I, I just did it in the poisonous potato war video. I, I hate doing this so much. Also, mild epilepsy warning. I know some of you have that. It's been 15 minutes. Please, just... Oh, I'm done. Thank you. So now, we actually have 26 minion slots, which is a lot. Which is actually higher than the original minion limit before the community shop. So because I have so much money right now, even though I'm probably not going to use it that much, I'm just going to go ahead and get uh, 26 super compactors, just because it's kind of just the default minion upgrade, just if you don't have anything else to put in your minion. So we'll go ahead and purchase 26. Uh, that, uh, wow, that's only 14.5 mil. I thought that was going to be a lot more. We're also, of course, going to need two more enchanted lava buckets so that we can get two more magma cube minion setups and four more minion expanders, and of course two more of the actual magma cube minions. So of course since we're going to be redoing the minion setup, I'm just going to go ahead and take down all of our magma cube minions just so that we can see what we have to work with. So we have 26 magma cube minion 9s, uh, 52 minion expanders, I think that number is right, 26 enchanted lava buckets, and 26 medium storages, plus 26 budget hoppers. So to pretty much most of you, this is going to seem completely unnecessary, but I'm actually going to go ahead and make some magma buckets. If you don't know what that is, it's basically two enchanted lava buckets combined together for 5% extra speed. So we are going to need 26 more enchanted lava buckets, which is what? That's really cheap. All right. Um, th this is not going to be nearly as expensive as I thought it would be. 
We do, of course, need 26 heat cores, which are, I believe, the expensive part. But, I, I mean, that I can't believe that was only 6 million coins for 26 enchanted lava buckets. What happened to those? In case you were wondering, yes, I also have a stupid amount of bits just laying around for some reason. I don't know. I, I just, I play this game too much. So I only had enough bits for 21 heat cores. I could get 22, but I want to have a little bit of bits left over just so I can do the experiments. And this is why it is so expensive to upgrade to magma buckets. Once again, let the crafting montage begin, and also once again, mild epilepsy warning, I don't want to give anyone seizures, please don't sue me. And there we go, a few million coins and uh, 70,000 bits, I don't even know at this point, uh, but a few million coins and 70,000 bits later, we have 26 magma buckets. Now 5% doesn't seem like a lot of speed boost, but over time it's going to add up and... Also, magma buckets are way cheaper than plasma buckets. Those things are really expensive, and I don't think those are worth it. Now, I mentioned before that I was actually going to upgrade my bank because I can't store any more coins in it, and uh, I'm, I'm still going to do that. I think I'm just going to upgrade it to the gold account, not the deluxe account, because the gold account is only 5 million coins, and 100 million coins balance should be more than enough because, quite frankly, if you ever have more than 100 million coins on you, unless you're a billionaire, uh, you, you, should, you should buy something. However, for that, we are going to need a 100,000 gold collection. We're, we're at 5,500. That, that's not quite 100,000. Buy order is not filling up for super compactors, so I'm just going to go ahead and have to instantly buy them. So it's going to go up by about 1.5 million coins in price. Oh, wait, no, only 1 million. So I think uh, 8 gold minions should be enough to get me to 100,000 gold collection relatively quickly. I'm going to guess like 2 or 3 or four or five, may, may, under a week, hopefully. So I have seven gold minion fives and one gold minion nine, all producing gold. I did the calculations. This should take just under five days, I think like four days and one hour. So now I'm gonna go ahead and check for other minions that I might want to get collection from. So it may or may not be the next day because I wanted to go to sleep and I was tired and our gold minions have been doing pretty well. I believe they were at, I think, uh, yeah, 15 enchanted gold, which is actually pretty considerable. Uh, so it is looking very promising that I will get that personal bank upgrade. Now, because I only have eight gold minions placed down, I have 18 additional minion slots, which was six more than the available uh, minion places on this uh, labyrinth of a... I don't even know what this is. But basically what I'm trying to say is I built three more minion spots just on the side so that I could accommodate all 26 minion slots. Now for the remaining 18 minions, I chose three specific items that I wanted to go for and I tried to make all the minions take about the same amount of time to produce the necessary items. So first of all, I want to be able to craft my own carrot candies. So I got some carrot minions. Four carrot minions should be able to produce 50,000 carrots in four-ish days. I also want to finish off my accessory bags. So these four redstone minions should be able to do that in four-ish days. I got four cobblestone minions, and those should be able to unlock the super compactor recipe in four-ish days. And I'm going to get six cow minion sevens, which should be able to unlock the greater backpack recipe in about a week. That one, I wasn't really sure how to lower the time. So for the redstone minions and the carrot minions, I've decided to add diamond spreadings just because it's free coins. And I'm not going to do it for the cobblestone minions and the cow minions because they just don't produce enough resources for it to be worth it. All right, now that I have all 26 minions placed down, I guess the only thing that I can really do for these minions is just wait for them to produce materials. Or I could, you know, give them a little bit of inspiration. Hurry up, I need cobblestone. Now that my minions are currently grinding for materials and I can't really do anything else to speed that up, and possibly the fact that this episode isn't long enough yet, we're going to do something that we have not done in quite a while. Accessory grinding. Our accessory bag is looking decent, but it could definitely be looking a lot better. First of all, our Ring of Love is only a rare accessory and it could go up to legendary, however that's going to be really expensive because you need a flower minion and everything. Uh, but right now, Romero is in the gold mine. So I'll just go ahead and give him his enchanted lava bucket, and I think that should be enough to upgrade the accessory. Take your lava bucket, and then now I need to go visit Julieta, of course. We give her this, and then maybe, maybe she'll upgrade it to epic, please. All right, so that wasn't good enough for Julieta, so now we gotta solve a Rubik's Cube for some reason, and then maybe I'll get an epic talisman. Uh, that would be nice, but knowing this game, that is not going to be the case. There he is, Romero. Give me this. Wait. 
Did I... Did I already solve it? What? Alright, well... Um... Oh, I... I... Eh? I mean, I suppose all my talismans were forged to bizarre, so that would give me a bunch of intelligence, but what? I, I didn't expect it to be that quick. Alright, just, just give me my epic talisman, lady. Just stop talking about why Romero isn't being himself. Give me the epic talisman. It, uh, you just... You, you don't get it, do you? He needs an emerald blade. I don't have the recipe for the emerald blade. I'll show him. Take your stupid emerald blade. I need that 500,000 coins anyway. Hey, look at that. A poem of true love. How did you get that from a sword? I wish my video scripts would just write themselves if I started stabbing paper with a sword. If only life was that easy. Oh my gosh, your text is all the same. I've done this quest so many times. Hey, I got the epic talisman. All right, now I can be done with these two, hopefully forever, but knowing me, no. Oh yeah, I also did my daily experimentation table, and I, I just do all four because it's only a few hundred thousand coins to get the Titanic experience bottles for the last one, and I got 4.6 million coins from books. Um, I, I don't know why I'm getting so lucky, but that's an easy, like, 3 million coins profit because it costs about 1.5 million coins to actually do the experiments. Anyways, I'll, I'll stop rambling about that. Uh, basically, I don't have a feather artifact for some reason. Um, I, I guess I just never bought it off of the auction house, so we'll, we'll, we'll do that. So, feather artifact, 110,000 coins. Why I didn't have this, I'm unsure. Now, I would also get the uh, uncommon bat person ring, but that's 3 million coins, and I'm not looking to spend that much. So I'll just go ahead and get the Bat Person Talisman, which is 520,000 coins. And our next upgrade is going to be our Campfire Badge. Uh, we're going to upgrade it to a Legendary, and that's going to cost 1,500 Enchanted Jungle Wood, which is just under 2 million coins, which I can easily afford right now. Legendary Accessory. That is amazing. And while I'm at it right now, I have on all my stuff. I'll just go ahead and see how far I can get into the Trials. Place that down, hop in the fire, and that deals a lot of damage. Wow, I, I don't think I can live through that. Okay, uh, never mind. We will not be trying to beat our record. We're also going to go ahead and purchase a Beastmaster Crest, just because I don't have one yet, and they're fairly cheap. And just because we're spending a bunch of money on talismans, I'll go ahead and purchase a Scarf's Thesis and then sell my Scarf Studies, uh, and that should cost about 1.3 million coins for that upgrade, which is fairly cheap. Plus, I get a whole 2% more class experience. Yay! And a kind of funny story here, I was crafting emerald minions when I was upgrading my minion slots, and I realized that you could actually craft an emerald ring. I guess it's a relatively new accessory, but I don't have it yet, so that's a good craft. Now that my accessory bag is actually starting to fill up, I think it actually makes sense now why I want to upgrade it as much as possible. Also, holy cow, these cow minions are super slow. Pun intended, please don't kill me. Anyways, I think that's going to about do it for this episode. I still have a ton of coins left over, and for that reason, in the next episode, whenever I decide to make it, I will be upgrading my dungeon gear to something a little bit more modern. And that also probably means I'll be grinding a bit more dungeons. Thank you guys a ton for watching, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe, have a great day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye! Hey, I get better at that every single time.